Yeah. Love unrequited robs me of my rest. Love, hopeless love, my heart and soul encumbers. Love, nightmare like, lies heavy on my chest and weaves itself into my midnight slumbers. When you're lying awake with a dismal headache and reposes to boo by anxiety, I conceive you may use any language you choose to indulge in without impropriety. For your brain is on fire, the bedclothes conspire of usual slumber to plunder you. For your counterpane goes and uncovers your toes, your sheet dips you merely from under you. Then the black thing tickles, you feel like Miss Pickled, so terribly sharp as the pricking. And you're hot and you're cross and you tumble and toss till there's nothing to its due and the ticking. Then the bedclothes all creep to the ground and the heap and you pick them all up in a tangle then your pillow resigns and politely declines to remain in its usual angle well you get some repose in the form of those hot eyeballs and head of a raking and your slumbering teeth which are horrible dreams you'd very much better be waking for your dream you are crossing the channel and tossing about in a steam of a marriage which is something between a large baby machine and a very small second class carriage and you're giving a treat penny iced cooked meat to a party of friends and relations they're ravenous horn, and they all came aboard a Roxham and Hoverton station. And bound on the journey, you find your attorney who started that morning from Devon. He's a bit undersized, you don't feel surprised when he tells you he's only 11. Well, you're driving like that by the single and by the by the ship's now a four wheeler, and you're playing round games, and he calls you bad names, and you tell him ties pay the dealer. Well, this you can't stand, so you throw up your hand, and you find you're as cold as an icicle in your shirt and your socks, by silk, cold tops, crossing souls we playing on a bicycle and here and the crew are on bicycles to which is some or other invested in and he's telling the tales of the particulars of a company he's interested in it's a scheme of devices to get at low prices or goods and cough pictures to cables we stick as a sailors by treating retailers as though they are all vegetables you get a good space with the plants and small trades with first check with boots with a boat tree and his legs will take shoot and his fingers will root and he'll boss and bud like a fruit tree from the green grocery tree you get grapes, green peas, cauliflowers, pineapples and cranberries the pastry will blunt, cherry brandy will blunt, apple puffs, three quarters and bamboos. The chairs are a penny, but ever so many are taken by Rothschild and Bering. And just as if you were allotted to you, you awake with a shudder despairing. You're a regular wreck with a crick in your neck, and no wonder you snog your heads on the floor, your needles and pins, your shoulders, your shins, your flesh is a creep, don't let us sleep, some crap in your toes, no fire in your nose, some fluff in your lung, and a feverish tongue, and a purse had to touch to the general sense, you haven't been sleeping in clover. But the darkness has passed, and it's daylight at last, and the night has been long, ditto, ditto, my song. And thank goodness the both of them are over.